こうこうねで同じ理屈あ左手でそうそうそう You can see that both have dents and scratches all over their sire. However, you'd be surprised to know. But this one, I'm going to use it for 25 years. Let's see if we can use it for 25 years. Let's see if we can use it for 25 years. And welcome to Let's Ask Sex and Say. I love to be your host, Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo. And this is Sex and Say. Sex and Say, I'm going to be your host. Yes, I'm going to be your host. 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 を使ってまあ攻撃するもしくは身を守るという方を見せていただけるかなと思っております。はい。はい。よろしくお願いします。はい、so today, the 22nd headmaster of Asayama Shinju, Six Sensei, will teach us three kata that uses the sashi to attack or block attacks. By watching this video, you will understand how the saya is a weapon as powerful as the blade. Not only the special kata, but also the story of why the katana are called the soul of the samurai, and why saya are made from weak wood on purpose was an eye opener. So I hope you can watch this video till the end. So then, let's get started! Sixensei didn't even draw his katana at all. What just happened? Now, the Asayama Ichiden Ryu is the Shishadori. Shishadori. Yes, it's a special skill. It's a special skill. During the samurai eras, there were occasions when a messenger of a clan would visit a different clan for negotiation or to exchange information. And there could be a situation where the messenger tries to attack someone during a conversation. But even so, you were not allowed to kill him. This is because killing a messenger could lead to war between two clans. So, this is a kata to defeat the messenger without taking his life. If the opponent wasn't a messenger, it would be much easier to just draw and cut him. But again, you don't want to even show your blade. So instead, you hit the head with the saya and capture him afterward. This time, Six Sensei stabbed the Saya against the opponent. And what did he do after that? で、さやの実を動かす。ここまで来たらこう。はい。なるほど。Because you don't draw your katana, you can attack faster than the opponent. By pressing the saya against the opponent until the stab, you're restricting his movements, making it difficult to draw. By the way, this technique can be used even if the opponent is sitting behind you. こっちに左に置いてあれば、はい、同じです。こう。ね。こうね、あとは同じね押さえておいてつくでこれがこっちに置いてあるはい右側にこうこうねうで同じ理屈あ左手でそうそうそうはあ、はい、ねでこう Regardless of whether the katana is placed on your left or right side, 
you can make this kata work. The katana were always worn on your left waist, regardless of your dominant hand, so it was generally meant to be drawn with your right hand. Due to this general belief, depending on which side you place your katana when you sit down, you can change what you're expressing to the other person. If you keep the katana on your left side, it's easier to draw. But if it's on your right side, it'll be more difficult to draw because you would have to switch your hands first, therefore expressing that you have no will to fight. However, there were of course skills developed to fight from the peaceful position too, and this is one of the examples. This time, the opponent will attack from the left side. Sei Sensei was using the Saya to block the attack this time. で、ここを狙って生まれようとする力を through the training of the kata in Asayame Shinryu, you train to be able to attack with every part of the blade. The blade is divided into three parts, the moto, naka, and saki. In this kata, because you stop the opponent's moto, you attack back with your moto too. So even if the opponent tries to back away, you will still be able to attack with the naka or saki, which would actually be easier for you. However, you might be wondering, wouldn't the opponent's katana cut into your saya if you're using a real katana? はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
the predecessor of Osemi Shinryu, who passed away a few years ago. Based on a teaching from his sensei, Six Sensei doesn't hold anything back from using the precious katana for kata that makes strong contact with other katana. At the same time though, he has never thought of buying a new Yaito, and he said that he will continue to use it until he really can't anymore. But in the comments, we always have people say, Aren't the katana the soul of the samurai? Is it okay to have your katana so badly damaged? Let's ask Six Sensei's opinion about such comments. The reason why katana were called the soul of the samurai is because the samurai who were privileged to own them were those who had the right to serve their lords and clans. No samurai would ever equip katana for themselves, but it was to perform their duties as noble warriors. So a good samurai is not one who just keeps his katana clean and never trains with it, but the one that trains rigorously to fight for his people in their time of need. Lastly, as I was talking with Six Sensei, I was able to listen to a very interesting story. It is about the material that the tsuka handle and saya of Asahime Shinji's katana were made of in the past. Although we don't do it anymore, the tsuka used to be made from evergreen oak, which is the material that most bokuto wooden katana are made of. This is because Asahime Shinryu has tons of techniques where you attack and block with its gut too, and he wanted it to be strong to endure the impact. Okay, then the Saya must have been made from the same material then, because you want it to be strong too, right? You might think that way, but surprisingly, the answer is no. It's hard to imagine today, but in a real life or death situation, the samurai actually wanted their saya to break. It's because you wouldn't have to draw your katana anymore, and you'll be able to attack much quicker. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> いやもう習ってなかったら作業を使ってあんな方がいい方ができるっていうのは全く想像できないのであ、そうでしょうねはいすごく勉強になりましたそれ so everyone, thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and if you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments and our goal right now is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 if you help us to achieve this goal, be able to do a lot more in the future possibly doing more videos, selling merchandise even going to your country or city to hold seminars about Saturday Night Didn't You it's be great if you can support us by subscribing and sharing this video Everyone, thank you very much for watching this video Thank you very much for watching this video